Boom. So, it's November 19th, and we have been eating a lot of spinach. As you can see, the spinach is doing really well. It's been freezing overnight many, many times, almost every night for a while. I don't know. I haven't really been keeping track. It gets up to pretty warm, like 5 or 10 in a day. Anyway, we've uh, taken out some of the lettuce at the back there because it was starting to uh, droop and get this uh, similar kind of saggy stuff from being very cold. Uh, let's see if I can get that. There you go. And I think there's best stuff to eat, so we're just kind of taking it out. And a lot of it we've been eating, but, uh, you know, you don't want to eat the garbage stuff, so we just take that out. Bump. There we go. It's a nice bright time right now, so. Anyway, we still got quite a bit of lettuce to go and a, definitely an abundance of spinach. The broccoli, cauliflower, cabbages are just about slowed down, but still, I think, going to do just fine over the winter. And let's see here. The kohlrabis, I should have got those in sooner, but whatever. I got planted over here. I don't see any signs of them, but we got some very big garlic. And in here we've got carrots we've been pulling out. Let's see if I can see. Just mad carrots. They're huge too. I don't really have the thing up here, but let's see. We'll have a look at this one. Yeah, there we go. We took out the uh, radishes over there and we replanted some I think you can almost see a couple of sprouts here and there. Anyway these are hackeri and then the bee the peas are doing just fine in here. And we've got carrots like crazy as you can see. And I got some peas or some uh, onions that I'm gonna transplant in some places I'm not sure. Either way this tunnel's working great, that one's working great. I mean, full yard has been getting frozen and still we're getting food out of it, so it's pretty good. And here we got a few more things. Let's just have a peek, boo. Because what the heck. Why not? All right, so there's another lettuce tunnel. Like I say, I'm not too worried about not having enough lettuce. Uh, off to the uh, far side here is, ooh, there we go, is uh, Hackerai, and next to that, in this kind of weedy looking bed, is Bloomsdale Long Standing spinach, which kind of didn't work out this time. I'm gonna just switch it out for a different kind. And then we got lettuce and onions, bok choy, and far as daikons, and they're doing just fine in here. And that's the front garden. Front garden has got kids in it too. Uh -huh. Of course. And then we got the back garden over here, which I had tried out some peas without cover. And the peas without cover seem to be not so happy. But we've still been eating this, uh, this parsley, even though it's kind of droopy, it's just as tasty. And the older peas that I started in, I think it was September or something, did not as good as the ones that were seeded in the really cold weather. They're still doing just fine. Anyways, I've got carrots under here and beets. The beets are just doing great. Don't need to color the beet, cover the beets, but I do, because I got a little bit of extra space, and here's carrots. Just mad carrot supply in there, too. And some more spinach. This is space spinach. The bugs seem to be really enjoying it as well. But, you know, those particular ones, we just squeeze them up and they're gone. In here, we got, ooh, excuse me, uh, cabbage, uh, celery. And it's doing really good with these, just these little hoops. And then back here we got green onions, a little bit of salad. I didn't cover this salad and it seems to be doing pretty good. It's romaine, Paris Koss. And then we got some 
Joy Choi and Dinosaur Kale and the beans I planted and they just were about to give us beans right when it frosted so they're not doing super super great anymore but they're doing some nice top cover for the uh, food on top of the you know the ground for the food for the microbes and and the uh, microorganisms and here's a little joy choy that worked out okay and then uh, we got I took out the Brussels sprouts here and we're still eating on those uh, and let's see we got sprouts of the onions and they're working out okay so we got I think it's three rows of onions yeah you can see over there another little bit they all getting covered over with these leaves here trying to get there's some more yep there's some more underneath and then we got some more lettuce and we got collards and cabbages down the row there too so it's uh, it looks sparse right now but it's gonna get filled up there's another colored another colored and these are cabbages cabbage 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 some of the cabbages oh they're a little bit young and they're getting a little bit beat up but it'll be all right See, this one's okay. That one's okay. That one's okay. It's all pretty okay. So that's winter gardening for you. Put some in the ground, and when it's in the ground, then you got some. So, uh, yeah. Hope that's been some education. We've been putting these things in since July. Uh, I seeded a lot of the barascas in July, and then put them in pots. Oh good. And these little guys. <laughs> Say bye guys. Bye. Hi. 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 Say bye. Bye. Ah.